Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. I am Starco Gaming and we are back with another Dragon Champion video. If you guys are level 15 or below, make sure to use the promo code Starco to get $10 for its freebies. To do so, it is very simple. Guys, you go in the settings, use the promo code, and you enter the code Starco, S-T-A-R-K-O. You press OK and you will receive your own personal free $10 package. So promo code of starco for the goodies so guys this is the last battle of the first season of tournament we are currently 9 and 0 currently rank number 45 in the world and we are attempting to go perfect we're attempting to go 10 and 0 so uh, wish me good luck today guys because uh well we might need it so uh just to show people you know let's brag a little bit like just a little bit <laughs> so you can see actually we should go in top players actually i'm 43 my bad i thought i was 45 i am actually 43 in the world guys my bad we are 9 and 0 and obviously we're not going to be able to get to the top 25 so all we need is a basic win here today to finish into the top 50 and claim those awesome rewards which are grandmaster top 50 here which is uh, 11,000 um, strategy amber 5.5 million gold 1400 artifact aggress upgrade upgrade chess key 800 artifact key um, and then uh, 800 track wins and then guarantee to uh, get all those uh, artifact in addition of getting six of those so uh we're gonna be getting some awesome rewards definitely uh, i'm pretty guaranteed to finish top 50 to be honest because i don't think i'm gonna lose but if i lose i'll we'll actually drop into the top 100 which is not a big difference but this is where we're standing guys and today we are jumping into our last offense and the player i'm fighting is not supposed to be afk player as he is currently ranked into the master league 1500 232 points and you only need 800 points to make it to the grandmaster so i'm pretty confident that he's actually going to be playing so uh we're going to try to do the best his total hero power is 9 uh, 110,000 uh, power while mine is 943,000 so I definitely start with a big advantage on that person obviously so if we look at this uh, these defense so we have two defense here that actually seems pretty easy uh, no defender in this one so that should actually be pretty easy uh, this one should actually be the artist one because of Kirill but there's only one mage so uh just uh quick information here guys if you use krell on the team use three mages uh so we have a uh, frizzard you have krell and instead of uh, this guy here i will recommend you to put somebody like um might or something like that as a great synergy with that because uh, when krell attacks she's gonna but all mages and invisibility if they're three mages or more in the team so because they're not three mages is here actually i should not have any problems beating this one and then here we have the goblin team that's probably going to be one of the most dangerous team to actually fight here that's going to be interesting to see what i'm going to try to do uh this orc team is going to be probably the easiest I have out there. There is literally nothing dangerous in this team except Mordom and the power. Mordom is actually pretty low. So I got a pretty decent first uh, first four fight here, definitely. Now, we do have to decide who we're going to send against who. So here we're going to send uh, our orc team that's usually the one we actually use here because uh, we want to counter a little betty very easy so we want to send the orc team which is going to be this team here so we're going to select this team and we're going to jump in there and uh, this team should actually be able to do uh, the job normally here basically we prevent the taunt we kill cruel and we win pretty much that's pretty much what uh using zero lead with the orc team actually do against a full human team now if there was three mages that will be a totally different story but because they're only two mages in this team that should be actually quite easy so first target we want to kill Kirill as fast as possible and obviously we have the uh 
des buff immunity out there which actually give us a huge advantage against uh, this guy too eric shellbreaker so with all that going <clears throat> sorry guys losing my throat a little bit here uh all we gotta do is just murder her uh we don't actually need to ability block her uh on the first ability block we get we're gonna ability block this guy so to make sure we don't get any healing from him then we're gonna kill her boom she is going to be dying from the bleeding most likely here yep and then we're gonna start working on on this one so he does not get to use this buff immunity at any point a very important and then after that we're just gonna go with whatever the game is offering us to actually kill at that point pretty much oh we actually did not get a great hit on that aoe to be honest that's uh <clears throat> something that goes much better usually but anyway let's finish this guy uh i don't really want to go use a good ability here let's kill this guy next so we don't get annoyed by it and there we go ability block again let's charge up this guy's gonna die next turn so let's start working on this little freezer <coughs> sorry guys apparently my throat does not want me to record a video right now but there's no way to stop this video because uh this is battleground offense we just don't stop <laughs> it's just not possible here yeah, we're gonna try to do some healing if we can i want to try to get those people uh you know 100% HP if we can that's actually the objective I don't think we're gonna be able to do uh, all of them though yeah that is not looking good oh no we hit the, this way too hard to actually make that happen so we're gonna have uh, three target to uh, at 100% um, HP five surviving heroes so 45 points here so actually not that bad but we're missing a few points for top shield but that was not a easy fight that was probably the second best team he had out there so definitely i believe that is what that was a good win for me <coughs> sorry guys for the sound apparently i'm gonna drink some water like I said, my troll just does not want me to record this video right now. So we're going to leave this team out there for now. We're going to see what we're going to be using here. Uh, so the first team we're going to put in here is definitely going to be the demon team. Uh, the demon team should actually be able to do a good job here. Uh, I think that's my best counter against Goblin because Goblin gets to attack a lot and the more you get crits the more turn meter you gain as a demon team which actually gives you an advantage on uh, on the Goblin team I believe so or you could just set uh, Shadow lead to and actually just put slow on everybody that could be also an alternative but I prefer to use my slinger lead here I believe so uh, I think it's going to be a little bit better here for what we are fighting because we're expecting to take a lot of it. So if you expect to take a lot of it, you want to put the slinger lead in this team. If you don't expect to take a lot of it and you just need to slow some very powerful targets, you want to do the opposite. You want to use shadow lead. So here first, what we need to kill is pretty simple. We need to kill this guy if this guy is dead and we don't have the shock we start with a huge huge advantage so we're gonna start working on him right away ability block is great because he's not gonna be able to do his aoe uh, shock that's gonna be a huge advantage here definitely because that aoe shock is a cure now we do have a tell that did not last very long uh, but personally we can actually just stun this guy okay i know i could only use my turn meter up here but i did not feel that it was the proper timing to actually make that happen to be honest so now we can actually use it we're gonna finish those people damn this uh, dr frank is not dying fast here that prevent them to gain turn meter and uh, the days actually prevent them uh the hero cannot land critical it's counter attack assist other or get turn meter bonus so you want to apply that obviously on those people now we did that we actually going to be killing uh goram so it does not get the, the goddamn pigs out and then she's almost dead so let's finish her up and then we can actually kill what is it, whatever is going to be available at this point is going to be pretty easy to kill and now we're going to use that on him so we can actually get a good critical damage pretty soon that boom here we go that is out and then we finish this guy pretty much the 
the demon team with uh with slinger lead is pretty much the meta team to actually fight a goblin team it works very 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 well so if you're looking for recommendations for that guys this is the recommendation i'm giving you uh, we got 47 points so five surviving euro five full hp heroes which is actually very outstanding against a decent goblin team so now we took the two hardest team out now we have to take the other two team out so we do have this team but this team still have a mordum so i'm not sure i'm gonna go there yet and then, then we have the demon team here this demon team um uh, what you need to do here is pretty simple you need to do big attack that's what you need to do here to kill them because if you do little attacks like if you bring goblin team here you're gonna screw because they get their turn meter with this lead so let's take a look at what we got here i'm kind of thinking about human here i'm not sure we could go with health or human but we could actually or I, I i guess we could actually use this one i think this one could be uh doing a decent job since my human team is actually stronger than this team or we could even go with the uh the pride team but i am so not confident enough for this pride team here uh, i think this pride team could definitely beat it but i am scared that we're gonna get bad rng and we're just gonna get screwed because there is a lot of aoe here slinger venomate and uh kira so uh, that can actually hurt and this one can actually remove debuff oh actually they actually it's a it remove less buff than before but no more aoe debuffing but the single target actually debuffed now so i'm not really confident with the change to actually go with that especially with the new synergy with kira and venom made so here we're gonna go safe totally safe we're gonna bring the elf team and we're just gonna snipe them out as fast as possible my elf team is not complete yet next tournament uh, next battle gun we're actually gonna be replacing uh zentera here with wonder lula which is finally ready for this uh elf team we're still gonna have this tank obviously because i don't have any other tanks to put there but definitely my elf team is getting stronger every single day also my uh my night tail is gonna be almost full full gear 12 i'm getting i already have our last uh gear uh gear six in the gear element to 12 ready uh so we're gonna be doing a lot of power with her she's gonna be over 30 000 power next time we see her in uh battleground so the first thing here you want to apply days on the target that do the most damage uh aoe wise and second target wise which is this target because when you apply days this target cannot gain turn meter and cannot uh critical it which is a huge vintage definitely so now we're gonna go with that we're just gonna wait here we are not gonna stress out we're gonna attack here now we got ability block on this guy that sucks but we're gonna be able to one shot this one so this one is done the talent is out and nobody to remove that talent actually give us a huge advantage now we can actually take care of her but aoe is about to come i'll at least know because we got the big uh the big how you call it <laughs> losing my word uh the big ability block here which definitely give us a huge advantage we're gonna almost kill that healer there it's about to die now they kill my uh they kill my uh what's his name uh <laughs> sharp and that sharp is actually pretty solid on my team so that's definitely gonna hurt maybe i should not have went with the the way i did here but we still should be fine here so we're gonna try to kill this but we get more ability block which is the advantage of talent lead to be honest now we're finding a pretty solid team so it's kind of normal that we are struggling a little bit but i think we're gonna be fine here i do believe we're gonna be fine so we're gonna go increase oh man that only target i could not afford to actually get oh we might actually have to restart this we might actually have to restart this guys we might actually have to okay okay we're restarting this before i die because uh rng was just on my way here we had a very great fight but i think i wasted too much time on the actual uh zentaria show wasted at that time of the dps to be honest uh but if you quit a fight you can restart the fight you just lose 25 points for the first time victory you're not gonna be able to 
not going to be able to get so it's not that much of a deal if you can actually still clear all the all the zone to be honest but it still hurts because 25 points is 25 points uh it helps you to actually rank higher but as long as you can pull the victory for the 800 points i'll say uh, it does not matter if you lose a little bit of points to be honest so let's jump with this one again let's uh buff up a little bit here so they're leaving my sharp alone a little bit here which definitely helps hopefully we can actually get talent before they actually ability block him that'll definitely be great if we can actually achieve that this time around and yeah so this is definitely going to be a much 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 better fight so we killed this one then we're going to do uh, the damage here you're going to see the difference we can uh, get sharp going it is a huge difference like die girl you did <laughs> very very easy now we're gonna heal this one uh we're gonna yeah we're gonna prevent this one from doing crits which is gonna be a huge important part here and we're gonna bring the buff back and we're pretty much gonna finish this shit uh pretty easy let's one shot this one. Oh, i thought he was gonna get one shot uh, it's still fine this is dead this is dead and this is going to be there in a sec so you can see when sharp is still alive it is a huge difference and when i target a little bit better too the first fight was definitely a big part of my fault uh because i did not target properly so we lost 25 points but still not didn't do that bad that was a very that was a very tough match which is kind of why i didn't bring the um the pride team because i was just not sure if that was going to be able to be able if i was going to be able to beat it properly now we have this team here now we're going to take a look at what we could actually bring here where is this team again this thing we could definitely go with the goblins here i think my goblin team can actually take care of that let's take a look we have human we have panda but we are fighting in a knowing more doom so that's going to be painful or we could throw the pride there too but i do believe that my goblin team can actually do the job these three together can actually handle pretty good eat and that's pretty much going to be in all of those three if we can get the talent out if we can actually get good follow attack and the shock to get applied uh, i think we can actually get a pretty solid fight here obviously we're gonna have to handle both mordum and our die i think that's gonna be the hardest part but i do believe that we can actually achieve that i do believe so so let's get started here shock oh we actually got a stun here that is actually awesome can we actually stun her uh the target is not days Damn, we gotta attack the target that stays so we can do more damage here. We're gonna get the bear here in a sec, so that definitely sucks, but we still should be fine. Can we get a talent? No, that's a killer though. Not getting the talent is definitely a killer. And I do hate when that happened. Okay, now we're gonna go finish this. Oh, we have Trumgar now, bastard. Oh, we actually daze him, so that's actually not that bad. We got a lot of dodge on that third skill from uh, General Mordog. That definitely suck. That definitely suck. We're still not doing that bad. It's, although we need a little bit more AoE here. Just a little bit more, but oh, we're not doing bad. We did not get stunned, so that's a huge advantage, and we can still keep going with the follow-up attack, so that is great. We can f go here, so not doing bad. Now the question is, can we actually finish them all? That's going to be the big question. We have great shield, we have a town, so that is not doing bad. Now if we can just kill those bastards, and then finish with uh, Mordom, that's going to be great. So I guess we're going to be able to finish that, to be honest. We should actually entirely go for Mordom here. Because those little bastards don't really do much. So we're going to switch to Mordom, finish him up, and that's going to be easy win here. And like I said, these three were my MVP. If they stay alive, it's a win. If they don't, we die. And they did stay alive, so that did help a little bit. We want to try to keep them full HP and at least one full shield so we can actually get uh, a better ending, more points at the end, pretty much. And uh, 
I think we uh, pretty much achieved that. So that was actually a pretty great fight. We were fighting a team that was like 15,000 power above us. So that I'm definitely proud of this victory. And you can see uh, one full shell hero, three full L, three surviving hero, and 25 first time victory. So this is a pretty good start so far. Now, hopefully in the back, we don't have to face team that are too strong because we don't have that much power left. Okay, so we got this elf team that's going to be pretty painful but to believe i still have my orcs no i think i used my orcs already on the human yes i did we do have the pride team we have the pin that be yeah this probably not gonna happen this is probably not going to happen but we're gonna save the strongest team if we have to for that now let's take a look at what we got left yeah i don't think i got the power to beat this elf team to be honest and this um this other team oh maybe maybe we can actually use this team to beat that a really good sniping ability and the talent right of the bat also there's a night hill that can actually remove the talent right yeah that can actually be pretty toxic and they're gonna get the talent on their side too i am definitely not sure on that one to be honest that's gonna be a very very rough one uh definitely can kill at least two more zone here definitely two maybe three so that is where we're staying at uh, i do believe we should send the panda team versus the panda team here and see what happened because they are pretty much even and i do believe that my panda team can handle this team so let's throw this panda team out there and let's see if we can get a first time victory here so i'm expecting to clear six or seven zone here in this last uh in the last battle of the season guys i do have a little bit of work coming on my roster in the next uh, few days so next time we get battleground i should be doing a little bit better hopefully so we're gonna try to uh slow this one which actually succeeds so that was great that was actually great now we're gonna do defense up we're gonna try to do some damage uh the target is to actually kill her in the back but that's gonna be rough that is going to be rough with all that dodge going around to be honest that's going to be rough now we're going to avoid using uh <laughs> this guy's slow on uh, kinley but that's not going to be optimal because the next time we go around we're going to have to use it so that's going to suck uh, definitely gonna suck and it did not actually turn meter or anything so that was actually great so now the talent is removed so we're gonna go for her as fast as possible if we kill her uh, we can win here pretty much that's the thing so let's go with it this is not looking bad can she die oh my god she's so close and the aoe does not hit her that is some or shit <laughs> that is some goddamn or shit here oh man no don't kill this one man okay this guy's about to get his talent again so i'm gonna go with that and that's the difference when you don't actually get uh the kill honor that's very annoying again we're still not getting it that is so annoying now she get a shield so she's gonna be even harder to kill okay so go back to work on her let's see what we can achieve here hopefully we can't finish her Oh, so close okay we got it so now we actually have the advantage we have great damage going out now so we shall be able to finish that to be honest we're gonna try to keep those shield as high as possible obviously uh to actually get a good w here and obviously as soon as we get this this talent out we're gonna kill this guy if we can kill this guy it is definitely optimal because he is a knowing brat he is definitely a knowing brat all his shield is very annoying now that is his out of the way we shall be able to finish that without too much problem so now uh let's put the shield there let's kill this guy i guess a little bit of a dodge cannot hurt i guess Bezako, we try to uh, finish with max shield on as many people as possible at this point. So this is kind of what we're trying here. So we killed this guy. We're going to have a shield on him. That's going to guarantee the shield is not going to disappear. We can go for one more shield. That'll be great. But I don't believe we're going to have the time to. Well, we never know. 
Oh, we're gonna definitely gonna try. Okay, full shield, full shield, full shield. So if we can keep that, that will be great. We did turn meter. Oh, we finished that. So four full HP, three full shield, a little extra points. That was actually a pretty good fight here. We got 48 points here. That was actually pretty great. So you can see four surviving heroes, four full HP, three full shield. That was actually awesome. Okay, so that take care of this team. Now we have uh, a little bit of dilemma here, but first we're gonna see if we can handle this team without throwing too much power around, which means we're gonna bring the Miss Kelly in this team here, which is not my best team, but this team is actually getting stronger now. So I am actually be able to handle this. And we got Wander Lula that is now up to 17,000 uh, power, which is definitely a lot stronger. Still not strong enough to my taste, but still getting stronger. So uh, we got that there uh, next time around. That's going to be helping a lot. But first thing we got to kill is that. If we cannot kill this guy, he's going to one shot everybody. Which is going to be the very annoying part. So we're trying to damage him as much as possible early on. So we can actually go... Oh, I should not attack this guy. This guy got a lot stronger, by the way, guys. I should focus on at least killing this guy right now. Okay, can we get my AoE soon? That would be great. I'm about to get the stealth, too, I believe. So I don't know. I didn't really level up the abilities yet. So that's going to be interesting to see uh, how it's going to go. Boy, this guy is rough. Uh, do we need to do that? Yeah, sh sure. Let's do this. Okay, the talent is removed, so we have a few few ability to actually take care of that. So let's see. Gain available access to two ally healers and two tacticians for two turns. Uh, this guy is done. Okay, we're good. We're gonna be able to finish this guy. Uh, shall we go with that? Oh yeah, the bear is already out, so it's we don't even have to question herself here. Let's kill one of the healer here, or at least try. Damn, I miss up putting the fake talent out there. That sucks. So we're gonna work on trying to kill this bastard. So far we are doing good, but we never know. That can turn around pretty fast here. But Mega Will being so much stronger than before, that's definitely a game changer here. But hey, we're going to do the work and that's going to pay off in the end because we are about to finish this here. Ah, oh, you fat bastard. What's your healing? <laughs> Starco does not, not does not like the heals. Okay, so now all we're going to do is kill the two healers. That's going to be pretty easy. Bye. Well, man, die, bro. And then... I don't know why I keep doing the bear thing when we already have the bear out. It's kind of a waste, but here we I should actually heal, man. We could have finished that with five hero full HP. Damn, Starko, you fail. But we're able to take team number six, so we're guaranteed to be able to take at least one more team, guys. Hopefully, we can get, get both teams, but at least one more team, which is actually pretty great. So let's inspect what we have left. We have, we can do pride versus pride, to be honest. Uh, that could actually work. I do believe my pride team is stronger than this pride team. Let's take a look. 110 versus... 113. So my pride team is stronger. Auto Revolt is stronger than Keggy. But Keggy bring more support. So I guess... We try it and see what happened. We're definitely going to be missing on the AoE here. So that's going to suck. That is definitely gonna say. I think the human thing can actually do a better job here, to be honest. But I'm gonna try Pride versus Pride because the Pride team, I don't think, has stand a chance against the uh, the Elf team, while the human team could actually handle the the Elf team. So that's kind of what we're trying here. So we're gonna try to literally murder this guy uh, before he pop his shell. If we can, that's gonna be rough. I don't think we're gonna have the Ace to make it happen. Now we just got dodge. Now we did not get the ability in time, so and now we're just gonna get dodge. So that's gonna be a very, very long fight here. <laughs> it's gonna be a very long fight because anyway, we have to kill Ranara first. Anyway. 
So we're just gonna be patient till that uh, uh, something uh, wear off here. Because there's literally nothing we can do at this point. We don't have the AOE. Uh, there's no point in charging this right now. I'm gonna pop the talent, obviously. And we just gotta wait because we cannot damage that yet. Now, if I do that, he's probably gonna go before me, so. Uh, after me so we're still gonna be patient here the shell's gonna disappear here and now it is time to go to the fight now it is time to go bananas or actually at least try <laughs> at least try if we don't get dodged that'll be great and boom we get dodged like a bastard but we did dodge oh wow we're dodging a lot too that actually helping here okay can we actually take care of something here okay we kill one target so that's that's that that we actually have an advantage here well we did have an advantage i'm not really sure we still have this uh we gotta kill it again so okay so that is done next we're gonna kill renara we're not gonna get talent yet we're gonna have that so that actually give us a little bit of time oh shit that's my boras that just got murdered here that is not good now we're gonna be able to bring him back in a sec here we still have to use our rest so boom he is back we try to kill her before we get uh yeah we got it before we get the town so that is great a little bit a little bit extra damage here let's fully heal everybody i think we're gonna be good guys i think we're gonna pull a good a good win here even though that is was not uh, as easy as a plan The, the advantage is that the AI is using, is wasting his big ability, his third skill paired with the second skill on Boreas when I have the shell up. So that is the big advantage I'm having in this fight, to be honest. So that definitely helps. So the talent is gone, so now we actually get to kill this guy. Okay, that's actually not that bad. Not as much damage as I want, man. Come on, finish him. There we go. Now we can finish this guy at some point hopefully this dodging is so annoying it's so freaking annoying man okay no you're not gonna use that on me and you bastard is about to die definitely okay we're gonna be able to fully heal, heal everybody and we're gonna get the win so i'm actually be able to pull a eight zone guys i have to actually be impressive here in a fight that we are having so here we score good points five surviving heroes five full hp and one shield that was actually much better than i expected to be honest uh, i was not sure here but the, the advantage of keggy and the ace versus revol and uh, not having that ace i think that's what give us the big advantage here and then we have the last team the elf team and us we do have our human team which hopefully is going to be able to take care of we have to take care of talent. That is literally the biggest thing we gotta take care of. And we need to be able to use our ability, uh, our debuff immunity before she do, she use her uh, ability block. I think that's gonna be the most important part. And hopefully we're gonna be able to handle that. So first we're gonna drop a slow on her, which is definitely gonna be very helpful. And then after that, we're gonna try to remove that down. We failed, but we do have buff immunity which should definitely help here and we do have some great aoe too in this team so that should definitely help but it is not guaranteed definitely not guaranteed we're gonna get a win here okay this tank is almost out so that is actually pretty great we're gonna use that on her use that here we did some tmr we can actually work on her oh my god she, she oh man she was dead bro she was freaking dead she was dead okay uh <laughs> stop complaining and kill some shit now there we go oh actually we're still alive great can we nope we fell in that but everybody is back full hp so apparently we get an amazing fight so we handle this perfectly guys uh, except the one fight that we targeted Zentara instead of targeting the DPS where we lost 25 points. I think everything else actually went perfectly, which is going to give us a total score of 
let's take a look we have 1536 points so that's gonna give us a total score of 20 2336 points which guarantee us guys that we're gonna finish into the top 50 leagues which is awesome and by the way guys if you enjoyed the content make sure to drop a like on this video as it is the only way youtube knows that this video is awesome this content is awesome this channel is awesome and give more exposure to all of that guys so make sure to drop a like make sure to sub for our daily dragon champion content if you have any question comment feedback there's a comment section down below or you can join us on our personal discord server link ex uh, accessible in the description down below also guys if you want to see sneak peek at our next video you can always press the join button next to the subscribe button uh for a dollar 99 you can access to uh gain access to the sneak peek of the next video through uh the community section uh on youtube this is up to you not mandatory obviously guys so thank you for watching guys you all keep enjoying playing dragon champion and i will see you guys again in the next video thank you